now I'm in my car home. Okay, on these videos, I do them as subjects come up that I want to cover, that I want my followers to consider. So if you're, if you're low on food all the time, if, if a couple days before payday you're uncomfortable, if, you're, if you don't have enough food, it's a good thing you found me. Okay, so now let's consider how to pack your refrigerator so that you use up the space efficiency efficiently, but you also guard yourself from running out of food. So the first thing to consider is your meal plan for a day, the food that you can get by on a day without suffering too much. So for breakfast, it would be cereal and milk. I like those bags of cereal at Walmart that they have for a dollar, and then they also come in big ones. So you could buy a few of those, like two of those should last you through a month if you were eating cereal every day for breakfast. Sometimes I eat cereal in the middle of the night because I'm very nocturnal. The other breakfast food would be eggs and toast, various kinds of toast, but toast. Lunch, meat and cheese sandwich with some kind of drink, like tea is very cheap. And then dinner would be meat, potatoes. This is what I started when I started the e or the YouTube I was trying to convey. Dinner, meat, potatoes, sweet potatoes or rice, vegetables, any kind, fresh, frozen, canned, bread and milk okay you don't want to run out of bread because you need bread for breakfast lunch and dinner and then some kind of dessert so here is a very cheap cheap meal plan so now what you want to consider is how to stock your freezer and your refrigerator full of food so that you don't run out okay sliced cheese if you get the sliced ones you can fit them a lot in the freezer and so what you're gonna do is is search around for sliced cheese some people prefer to uh, grate but I find if you grate a lot of times you're using more than you really need a lot of times when I make macaroni and cheese I'll just use two pieces of my um, cheese that I bought for a dollar I make the white gravy so cheese sliced cheese is you're gonna be able to pack your freezer lunch meat i have all kinds in there hundreds of pieces of lunch meat because you can make a lunch meat sandwich and a cheese sandwich tortillas okay the problem with bread is bread is going to take up a lot of space in your freezer right now my bread is packed full of freezer packed full i want to eat that down and create more space in my freezer I have waffles, I have bagels, I have little kinds of stuff like that. But that's not really using your space efficiently. Pack your freezer full of lunch meat. Then you can always get a sandwich. And tortillas, you know, if you have two packages of those 24 um, packages of tortillas, that's going to save you from running out of bread. And then if you stockpile, but we're not talking about that. 50, at least two packages of tortillas is going to give you 50 tortillas, which is going to get you all the, through the month. And it's not going to take up too much space. Hot dogs don't take up too much space. I, I always have hot dogs in my freezer. There's all kinds of things you can do with hot dogs. And they don't take up much space. Turkey meat from Walmart is $1.50 a chub. Four of those is really going to protect you from running out of food and they don't take up much space. And if you, if you use them efficiently, they're going to create a lot of food. Sausage, those, those um, Farmer John sausage, they don't take up much, much space. And you can, if, if you use them efficiently, they're going to uh, create a lot of food like sausage, gravy, and biscuits. And then bacon, you can get the flat ones. I get bacon ends, but you, the last time I didn't do this, but from now on I will. When I freeze them, I will lay them flat. So as, you know, so I'm piling my freezer full of food. 
So sliced cheese, lunch meat, tortillas, turkey chubs from Walmart, 150 a chub, hot dogs, sausage, and bacon. And that way you're gonna have a lot of low cost food in your freezer and you're not running out of food. You can always get a sandwich. You can always get, and then now go down to the refrigerator and thank you very much, Henzo, 60 eggs. So you go to Walmart where you know the eggs are the cheapest and you make sure you got eggs in the refrigerator. Then you can have eggs, cheese, and, and uh, toast. You can have egg sandwiches. So these items, sliced cheese, lunch meat, tortillas, turkey chubs, hot dog, sausage, bacon, and eggs is really going to uh, uh, protect you that last week. You're not gonna run out of food anymore. You're gonna do whatever you have to do. You're gonna go to the food bank. You're gonna get food stamps. You're gonna go to the churches and you're gonna use your money efficiently to make sure you don't run out of food. I think the price of everything is going to go up. They're predicting the price of gas is gonna go up. If we hit an inflationary period, then you're gonna you're gonna have less money. But if your house is full of food that you know you're not gonna run out of food, you're all you need is food, water, and a clean, dry place to sleep. Don't let anything happen to your apartment. What if you live in an apartment? If and don't let anything happen to your car. Okay, you guys. I'll be back later.